Yeah, uh, V-Ray RT. Uh, so we've been doing a lot of uh, interesting stuff. Uh, I, I'm part of uh, something in, in the LA office called Chaos Group Laboratories, and we've been getting together with uh, some of our artists and some of the people who are interested in sort of pushing the technology. And Kevin Margo came up to us about wanting to do this short. And at the same time, NVIDIA has approached us about trying to do stuff on the GPU and trying to do accelerated rendering on the GPU and final frame rendering. So we convinced Kevin, or didn't convince, we asked Kevin if he wanted to do his entire project on the GPU as well. And so he did, and we decided we we're gonna, he's gonna do Construct all on the GPU, and it was a perfect fit for it. So he rendered his teaser um, in his apartment using three computers uh, each one housing three three high-end graphics cards, but he was able to render the entire short uh, or the entire teaser in about five days. And uh, we're talking about an average of like four to seven minutes of frame when it could have taken probably somewhere close to nine hours of frame on a CPU. So it's a big difference. But he decided he wanted to take that technology and see where rendering could happen across the entire pipeline. And we started looking at it as early as motion capture session. So. Uh, he said, can we actually get V-Ray to work inside of the motion capture session, the V-Ray RT on the GPU? And uh, so Vlado thought it was a perfect opportunity to take something called V-Ray App SDK and see if it would plug into Motion Builder. What V-Ray App SDK actually is, is it takes V-Ray standalone and he puts a wrapper around it. Instead of having to plug it into an application using C++ or something more complicated, you can actually just do it with a series of Python scripts or JavaScript or whatever you want to do, much simpler. So he's excited about doing that. So he, he decided we were going to put it inside of uh, Motion Builder. It worked way better than we expected. So it was able to get basically our motion capture sessions, we can get playback to something like 16 to 24 frames a second and be able to test with real shaders, real, real assets, and that we're not faking anything in the OpenGL sense. So we can change lightings the way you would do in, a, in an actual lighting session. You can change camera lenses, do all that stuff. So we're really starting to think of what this can mean in terms of filmmaking. So it's a really exciting uh, part of that process. And it's like true, like true path tracing. It's like true it's, path tracing. It's very yeah. easy to, to look at it and you feel like this is just kind of a preview method or something no. like that, but you're looking at the actual yes, exactly. render. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, SCS, it's a big piece of news uh, for us at SIGGRAPH as well as for the Foundry. So we've uh, collaborated for the last uh, couple of years and we've announced uh, three products at the show. There's V-Ray for Katana, V-Ray for Nuke, and then also V-Ray for Modo. So uh, V-Ray for Katana is a, it's a very natural fit. Um, it's something that even in its beta uh, has been used uh, pretty seriously in, in uh, production. A uh, good example would be Captain America Winter Soldier where it was used for the helicarrier. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, the biggest asset that Industrial Light and Magic has ever built. And uh, they, along with uh, V-Ray for Max, that was all, that's how that shot was done. Uh, and then also you've got V-Ray for Nuke, which is a public beta that's available today. You can just register for it at v-ray.com forward slash nuke. Um, and that brings you the V-Ray progressive render right within Nuke. So access to all the nodes, render elements. Um, you had discussed earlier about uh, a 2D uh, comper today, like goes back and forth all the time, right? Between well, uh, matte painters, matte yeah. Painters matte painters tend to have to jump back between like a 3D application and a 2D application or do their projections or whatever. But now they can just do all their rendering right inside of Nuke, so it'll be actually help them in that process as well. And that'll help with like, you know, set extensions, yep. like facial replacements, all sure. that stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. So, so that's really cool, that's the public beta, and then also V-Ray for Modo, which is like a real kind of a natural win-win, the two will go really well together. Right. Um, all of these products come just out of like, you know, great demand from the user base from both sides, so it's really nice to kind of see the two, two great tastes that go great together. Right. Wow, I can't believe I said that. <laughs> <laughs> But it's true. It's, it's, it's true. <laughs> yeah, and that's available as a public beta as well. So we yeah. definitely want people's uh, feedback for it, and we're yeah, looking to release important. it this year. It's very important for beta process that that, that that we get feedback from the users. That's the only reason why it's, it is a beta. So please go out there, try it out, give us your feedback, tell us what you think, tell us what kind of features you're looking for, and, and all of this is taken into consideration because this is how this is your opportunity as a user to get what you need out of your product. So and that, that please please give us a feedback.